Now, there are three types of uh, errors that we find in programming. Right? Types of errors in programming. Number one is called syntax errors. Uh, syntax errors are basically uh, errors where you have uh, things like for example, missing of punctuation marks, right? Such as, for example, uh, maybe uh, semicolons, right? And then missing out on uh, colons, spaces, likewise. So all of these types of errors can be uh, during the compilation process, all uh, the errors, all the syntax errors must be uh, sort of removed for you to be able to run the program. It's somewhat similar to spelling and grammar mistakes in a particular language, right? So these sort of things needs to be uh, cleared off before you can actually run and compile the program, okay? So uh, these are called syntax errors. And the second kind of errors that we have in programming is uh, known as a logic error, right? Uh, they are also called semantic errors, right? Logic errors and semantic errors are not uh, grammar mistakes, but rather like uh, something to do with the logic of the program. That means like, uh, for example, if your intention is to uh, say calculate the average of say for example three numbers the usual method of operation is to add the three numbers and simply divide it by three but if you miss out on the dividing part it will simply calculate the total rather than uh, the uh, average um, so if you miss out on you know, doing that uh, then uh, that uh, becomes a logic error so you don't actually get the expected outcome it will not prompt you any errors during the compilation process, but it will simply not give you the expected outcome, right? So example would be, uh, say, mistakes in, uh, in formula uh, used in calculations, something like that, okay? The third kind of error, uh, errors, is actually known as uh, uh, runtime errors. Right? Runtime errors means like uh, it will properly get uh, compiled. It will not have any logic errors as well. So you uh, say. Uh, the instructions that you have provided to the computer to get something done will be perfectly all right. But uh, during the execution of the program, based on the inputs that you provide, some programs might give you certain uh, errors. In the sense like, uh, these are also known as exceptions. Exception handling is like, you know, uh, exceptional cases, like not normal cases if a particular user enters something uh, uh, something like an abnormal value uh, into an input field, how would the program respond to it, right? So usually it's considered an error, but you can handle it using your own method of uh, coding. For an example, you can say uh, division by zero, right? Uh, that's a very commonly found uh, exception. Uh, that is, for example, imagine that you input uh, two variables called X and Y. And somewhere in your program, there's a code which says uh, X is divided by Y to produce something like, let's say, Z. Okay. Now, you, you should make sure that Y is never a zero. Right? If Y happens to be a zero, then uh, whatever the value of x is, division by zero, you know that it's, it's an undefined value, right? So then uh, the whole thing gives you uh, an undefined answer or a value uh, that is considered to be an exception or a runtime error. So the program logic is fine and the syntax, all of that is also fine. 
for the uh, based on the values that the user enters during the runtime or the execution of the program uh, the program might throw out an error uh, which are called runtime errors or exceptions right so how would you do that you can sort of validate your inputs for example uh, if the user enters a value the value zero uh, for y then you can sort of use a simple if condition uh, if y equals zero then you know prompt the user to input another value uh, saying that you know y ca cannot be a zero something like that okay so these are the different types of errors that we come across in programming 